<laughs> Better made. Came up with them thoroughbred swap world that was Detroit City. Moved out to the Gold State, California. I ain't come from love with me. Focus like Adderall. When I had a ball, I shattered boys. Shack fool in the 9 2 with vocab boy like Scattergore. One kid, but I'm sunny. What up, everybody? I'm Mark. This is Immortal Closet Collection. Thanks for hitting my channel up. If you're on Facebook, the best kicks, merch, etc., be sure to like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Shout out to little master for a reminder. So today we're gonna to be doing a quadruple. That's right, <laughs> a quadruple side collective review. I got two pairs of shoes, his brand new slides, and I got a bag we all gonna look at today. Side collective or somewhere in America collective is owned and operated by Devlin Carter. You can check him out on Instagram at side underscore collective. So I was checking him out for a long time until I was able to find a shoe that I liked and be able to order a shoe that I like because if something drops, it sells out instantly his shoes sell out faster than yeezys which is awesome so he do pre-orders but pre-orders do take a while we'll say that but he does he got like a, a phrase that he used trust the process because his process goes from beginning to end where he has to go to the factories at the factories do the molds do this that the colors etc put everything together send it back from overseas which is a hassle right now during a pandemic. And then over here to the filming center, do the boxes, all that type of stuff like that. It's a lot of steps for somebody who's, you know, he's growing, but he, <laughs> he's doing his damn thing. Good job, bro. So without any further ado, let's hop into the first item. All right, so back probably like in October, in October, so about three months ago, I pre-ordered this. It's called the Side Commuter Bag. I thought it was really dope, so I went on and pre-ordered it. It came quick for a pre-order, if you ask me, and I'm glad it came quickly. So let's check this bad boy out. It comes in this nice, uh, I don't know what kind of material this bag is, but it's a side bag, like a protective bag to carry it around. And then here's the bag itself. So it's black leather and it's like black canvas and they got like some Molly straps. And then it says in Black Side Collective FW 2021 multi-use pack. So the cool thing about this, it's kind of like a, you wear it on your front, kind of like a, a bulletproof vest. And I feel like this is good for places like you, uh, if you go out of town, you don't have easy access to some of your stuff. And if you're afraid of, you know, maybe being pickpocketed or losing some out your pockets when you're sitting, you have these straps here. So like you could pull it up and put like your phone or money, your wallet. And you have this one down here. It's a bigger one, closed with Velcro and a zipper very secure and it has oh <laughs> i ain't really looked at this like that it has oh, how do i put this on i'm not sure this has to attach to this thing it has to oh i know exactly what this is i feel like such a fool so <laughs> so this thing right here surprise surprise comes off it turns into a cross body bag that's the strap for the cross body when i first looked at it i said man i can give this around my body <laughs> I'm an idiot. That's a very nice Velcro on the back where you get to keep you get to keep these straps. I like this a lot. I like it a lot. And underneath here also it's another like pocket, like easy access pocket. So this bag to me, <laughs> I like this bag a lot. I need to figure out. So we got those straps. I'm gonna put those straps on there. And I'm gonna wrap it around my body. That way I know like this thing ain't gonna slide off or fall off. I'm very impressed with this bag. If you guys picked this bag up, even knew about this bag, it was a, I almost say it was a members exclusive, early exclusive for members. I became a member at back in, I want to say October. I said, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger, become a member and see how, you just go through that journey. Either I'll stay a member or I won't. It hasn't been long enough yet. It's some dope shoes he dropped recently on the Tahoe Boost, the Black Python Boys. Oh, I gotta have them. High ticket, but look like it's worth it. I'm gonna get them bad boys one day when I can catch them in my size. But needless to say, did you guys pick up this side collective bag at any side collective bags? Let me know in the comment section down below. On to part two. So I decided I'm gonna go ahead and bag the slides first. So let's get them out the bag. All right, so box is kind of beat up from being shipped in the bag. I'm not too happy about that. Um, I want to say shipping was like 15 bucks. So for like 15 bucks shipping, in my humble opinion, put it inside of a box because this stuff like this happens and the box is part of packing. This is a very cool box. It, it's like a milk carton pretty much. And on this side it says missing, it's the vulture, uh, the dead vulture. Then it says sizes. I got a size 12 through 13 because he, I'll tell you why in a minute. And then say, if you can identify this vulture or any other vultures report, any information you have to 
Vulture Hunt, <laughs> which is funny. And then it says Vulture Farms. At the bottom says best used before vultures. And then at the top it says guaranteed freshness. Let's get these bad boys out the box. Uh, oh man. This is very nice in hand. And there you have it. The Sea of Vulture slide on in a noir colorway. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. All right, so my initial thoughts of the slide is, um, it is very, it's very nice. <laughs> it's not to review. So start on the lateral side, it's like an all one piece construction and it has some different detailing here at the midsole, the midsole area, I should say. Towards the heel, it has a side collective logo, which is like an S and like an A and an I and like a, it's like a O, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what it, or maybe it's a C. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not certain what the actual logo is supposed to stack up and say or it's supposed to be, but it's a nice logo. Pretty much that's that's the lateral side, but you have like this uh this button here that has like a dead vulture head on it, which holds onto this strap. So this is the sport mode strap. <laughs> people will call it. And it's kind of reminiscent of uh, like a croc strap. And now people will say the shoe is in itself is reminiscent of crocs, but I always say this: what shoe doesn't look like some other shoe that already exists? Shoes are shoes. I mean people got feet. When people start growing hooves, then shoes, designs, and shapes will probably change. Until then, it's always going to be similar to something. Roll on to the front of the shoe. This is one of the good, nice details I like about the shoe. It covers your toes, but it also has vents here. So now, people who like to have their toes out still get some of that airflow going on their toes. People like me like to have their toes covered. If I wear this slide, I decide to wear some orange socks, some red socks, blue socks. You get that color pop through those vents, which is very nice to me. And going to the inside of the shoe, the inside, it's um, you know, still that same. This is like an EV foam. It's soft overall. It's sturdy, but yet yeah, soft. And then you have this insole. The black insole pops out. So the insole is a super thick EVA foam insole. And it's, the other slides that I have back here in the back, um, that's not the, um, that doesn't have the back to it, has the same thing. And I put my foot in there and it's, it is super comfortable. It's more comfortable with the insole in, but it's still comfortable with it out. With it out, it gives you more room. So if you want to wear some like big puffy socks, or if you have like a wider foot, you take the insole out, you're ready to rock and roll. That's why I said size 12 to 13, because this insole makes a lot of difference. Roll onto the medial side of the shoe, or the arts as I like to call it. It's a mirror image of the lateral side. It's missing like the side stamp back here. Of course, the toe part is different. We went over that. Same thing here. Nothing really too different. Rolling onto the heel of the shoe. The heel of the shoe down at the bottom, it says Summer in America, which is Saya. What Saya is short for. Then it has this back piece back here, which is flexy. Got two little holes here. I mean, I could imagine if you just need to put a finger in there to pull it on, you could, but these are literally called slide ons. Can you slide your foot in there? You wouldn't need to, but that's pretty much it. Roll on to the bottom of the shoe. You have this outsole. This outsole got one, two, three different textured patterns. So I feel like this would be very good to walk around outdoors. You don't have to worry about slipping and sliding. Then it says side collected there, and then you can see the ejection mode in the spot right there. But the bottom of the shoe looks rugged to me. So all in all, this is a very nice shoe. I like this strap right here. The strap goes around and says vultures on the strap. It's a nice sturdy strap. So I feel like if you want to have it up and just slide your foot in and go, no worries. But if you want to like have a little bit more support, you can pad it back there and slide it up, have some support. I'm liking everything about it. And after trying these bad boys on with no socks, which I wouldn't wear it with no socks, but with no socks, it's a bit roomy, a little bit more roomy than what I like. That's with the insole in. However, I would wear socks with this and I feel like it'd be perfect. Like the actual, it's roomy around the foot, not so much roomy in the length. So the length is perfect for me with the insole in, but it's a, it's a lot of room in there, which these are a comfort shoe. So for the comfort shoe, you, uh, to me, you want to have more of room in it. And it's something you stole on, run to the grocery store, you're doing a quick run, you throw these bad boys on. Certain jobs that like you work in kitchens, I was a lot of places where like Crocs to certain jobs, nurses and stuff, yes get you a pair of these bad boys uh but all in all it's a solid shoe i think the price was i didn't mention this earlier and i apologize the price was like 89 dollars i want to say and it shipped super quick these came quick and i'm and i had them for a while i just haven't shot these videos but now i have all these shoes i figured i shoot all these videos in one doing different segments that way everybody get to see a different piece of saya uh merch and i'm loving it so you guys tell me did you guys pick up a new saya collective slide on vulture in the nor colorway let me know in the comment section down below on to part three all right, so I want to say thank you to my past self because <laughs> I wrote on the box which pair of shoes this was because I had no idea which pair was which, but this pair.
prepared to fuck racism and has fuck with a PH. <laughs> to get them out the box. Let me grab my shank, turn safety off. Cause remember, safety first. Remember you cut on the box to always cut away. Always cut away. Cause trust me, you don't want to get shanked. I'm gonna hold on to that. <laughs> Let's get them out the box. Woo, already off the top. I'm liking that, liking those graphics. Discard that. It's off top. This box, it's a black box at the red pops. It says, fuck racism. We got a line through racism in America. Couldn't agree more. Being a black man in America, I couldn't agree more. This box got a carry handle. It's like the other box I have from the other video I shot, which I would tag at the top of the screen. And the size tag says, side collective model CV, which is culture vulture uh, 0 0.02. Color is fuck racism, size 13. Check these bad boys out. So this is, I think I want to say it's a fold-out box here, and it folds up. <laughs> I'm really feeling that colorway. And there you have it, the Side Collective Culture Vulture 2.0 and the Fuck Racism colorway. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. All right, so my actual thoughts of this shoe. Uh, it's actually really dope. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it to review. So starting the lateral side at the bottom, you have this nice, it's a chunky, nice chunky rubber midsole also. The outsole is glow in the dark. The color of it is uh, like a semi-translucent, like a creamy clear. And then the midsole is as black, it's kind of ashy looking. And I think that's on purpose because the shoe itself is not jet black. And you have these, uh, it's kind of like uh, at the midfoot for the sole kind of separates. So I feel like it's easier for the walking and for the bending of the shoe. And then moving up past that, you got this uh, knit, this knit has two different patterns. It's a black pattern that goes around the midfoot and goes around to the front of the shoe. Then the main color knit is like a multicolored knit. So I'm guessing for, this is my guess, <laughs> for multiculturalism. And because in America, they call it a melting pot. It's a bunch of different culture, a bunch of people, a bunch of colors of people here. These colors I see here is red, yellow, uh blue purple pink basically the color of the spectrum which is very nice so what's additionally hidden inside this knit is um it's reflective this shoe is highly reflective i'm going to capture it i'm going to capture it for you guys but it's super duper reflective anybody know me know i love reflective anything glow in the dark anything and this shoe has both Roll off the front of the shoe, you got a bit of outsole spilling up, which is glowing in the dark. So once these bad boys charge up really good and pop, oh my God. Then go on top of the shoe, I gotta say this, quality control alert. A piece of the sole glue came up on a prime knit. Uh, Nike does it, Yeezy does it, Side Collective does it. It's a thing that happens with the factories. Nobody's perfect, but let's get it under control. They're going up to get more of this prime knit. And I remember I said I get that black prime knit that's going around. They're going to pass that. You have these uh, rope laces. They're, they're spiral puffy rope laces. Very nice. They have, he has some, uh, some fuck racism shoe laces that are like the color of prime knit. And I want to say has like a red tip and they're reflective. Those are super dope. He sells them separately. Uh, I wish they came with the shoe because it accident the shoe or at least when you're ordering it, give you an option to add to cart. Like if you want to upgrade or like, you know, so all come at once or come together opposed to catch them when they drop. So maybe that's an idea. I can shoot to one more if you see this video. Maybe that's an idea when you add shoes like this that has matching shoelaces, have an option to add to cart with the pre-order. And that way, if this take three months, shoelace take three months, whatever, the shoelace can take one month, they come. But at least you'll be able to add it and have it together with the shoe. Then going up in this tongue area, you have like this, uh, this canvas straps in black then at the top of the strap you have the side collective uh, logo in red they go into the inside of the shoe um, it's real stretchy so now on the back here back here this feels like leather to me and one thing that Devlin Carter prides himself on is his uh, materials and I can say he has some quality materials and this is a good price and it's worth the price but it's leather back here and it says 13 made in China then going down I don't see a size tag off top I do not see a size tag, but this insole is like a leather insole, and this, oh, this insole is very nice. It's cream color with a silver Saya logo. Very, very soft insole. You gotta be comfortable to walk on. And that's pretty much it for the inside of the shoe. Roll on to the medial side of the shoe, or the arts as I like to call it. It's pretty much a mirror image of the lateral side. I don't see any real differences. It's just a really dope shoe on both sides. Roll on the heel of the shoe, get that outsole, that glow in the dark outsole. 
midsole, then you got this black camera strap back here. It's a red fist in the circle, and it says racism with a red line going through it. At the top in black, you can see this his other logo, which is the Vulture logo, and it has this pull tab, and anybody who knows me, pull tab gang all day. Rolling to the bottom of the shoe, has classic side collective also for the Culture Vulture part two. It's very grippy, I count one, two, at least two different, these are like spikes, like uh, track patterns, three different track patterns. These are like real spiky and real grippy, and this is like a slanted. I feel like this is really good to get a workout on. So all in all, it's a very solid shoe. We're gonna hop into part four so I can review that shoe and that's called the cloak. Let's hop into it. All right, so here's the box for the cloaks. The cloaks come in an all black box. It says somewhere in America down here, just a vulture on the back. A little bit different from the fuck racism shoes. Then the size tag says, side collective, vulture Lux. It's the style of this shoe. Size 13, the cloak colorway. Let's get them out the box. <laughs> These boys are already hard. Woo! This shoe is stupid dope. And that was a cross between stupid and dope. <laughs> and there you have it, the side collective Vulture Lux in the cloak colorway. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. All right, so my thoughts of the shoe. This is my favorite shoe so far. <laughs> Highly impressed. It's time to review. Star on lateral side at the bottom, this Men's so also to me looks the same from the what they call the culture vulture 2.0s, but it has that color blocking where it's half glowing in the dark at the bottom for the outsole, and then the midsole is black. And this glowing in the dark outsole is more of like a mint tint too. It's like a semi-translucent cloudy mint. Moving up past that, the main construction of this shoe is like um I don't know what to call this material. It's gotta be like some type of foam, but this foam is iridescent. It's like a it's like oil like if you see well, oil spill like uh and mixing with a little bit of water it's all iridescent looking this is exactly what the color is it's like a, you can see purples you can see greens you can see blues the main base color of it is i would call like a cinder but wow this is so nice to see up close then within that it has some pattern here at the midfoot it looks like it's supposed to be like punch throughs for like uh mesh but it's just it's just design then it's uh, towards the heel, you do have actual two holes punched through it, it's perforated. Then towards the front, you have these uh, these horizontal lines and it, you can just tell the, the detail that went to the shoe. Rolling to the front of the shoe, you got a bit of also spilling up with some of that traction. You have more of these straight lines, then it's blocked off by this line that the colors are so, so close. It's <laughs> very nice, it's like it's soothing almost. Then going up right here, you got more, it's like a, a honeycomb shape pattern. Then you have these uh, laces. The laces are, to me, the same laces from the Fuck Racisms. They are black spiral laces, puffy. And to my understanding, there's a special lace for this shoe too. So once again, I was saying this part of the review, maybe with the ordering or the pre-ordering for a shoe like this, if it has a special lace that matches it, to have an option, like an add-on option to put into the pre-order so you can have the same matching laces. Because those laces pop up and they sell. I don't say laces are like 30 or 40 bucks, plus like a $10 shipping. That's a lot of money for a lace. The laces are dope. I don't know how much they cost to get it made, and they might even cost 40 bucks to be made, and you only make it two bucks for lace. Not my business, but what I'm saying is, I wanna at least be able to get the matching lace for the shoe real time. They're going up past that in this tongue area, you have like this canvas strap, and the straps are like lace loops. Then underneath, you have finally get into this primate. This primate is like a black and gray. And the black and gray primate is reflective as well. This shoe glows in the dark, has iridescence and reflects. What else could you ask for? Going to the inside of the shoe, inside of the shoe has like no padding at all. But back here is a leather strap that says 13 made in China. And then this insole is a black insole. It looks leather. And then it has a silver side collective logo right there. Roll on to the medium side of the shoe, or the arts I like to call it. It's pretty much a mirror image of the lateral side. This is a dope shoe. <laughs> I'm excited to put this bad boy on. Roll on to the heel of the shoe. There's nothing really special back here. You got more of that material wrapping around. Then you have a black camera strap going to the top, going over that knit. And then at the top, uh, you have a vulture right here and it's a pull tab. You got a pull tab in the front and the back. And you already know me, pull tab gang all day. Roll on to the bottom of the shoe. You have the side collective. This is like the standard traction. I remember seeing on my, the fuck racism. I forgot the name of the other shoe I got. It's black, the um, blinks or something like that. Very nice traction. I feel like you can race to the gym, run going on a run you're gonna hold it very well over time. So I'm gonna do a quick comparison between these and the other two pair of shoes that I have. Let's check it out. So here's all of them. We have the, these are the, these are the Vulture Lux. Yes, the Vulture Lux cloaks. 
the Culture Vulture 2.0s, and I want to say it's the Blink colorway. Did a video on that already, and then the Fuck Racism, which is part three of this video. I had to think about it because we did the bag, and then we just slides these part four. All right. But needless to say, yeah, the soul mints also are the same on all of them. They all glow in the dark, which is dope. This one is more white than anything. This one is more green than this one. Um, on the outsoles, catch those. And then the patterns. This shoe is more like constructed better. I feel like because these, you gotta put your foot to get the shape. These already have the shape. I like that a lot too. Out of all three, and I think I think all of these come with special laces. Like they release laces that matches the shoe. And I feel like if I had the proper laces for all these shoes, the fuck racism and the cloaks would be a tie for me. Um, I'm liking everything about it. Shit, even the rear back here is different from the fuck racism. I like that. It's like loops. Um, between the three, if I had to pick one, give me the Vulture Luck cloaks. What would you choose? Let me know in the comment section down below. So people say the Yeezys are very similar to the uh, side collectives, and honestly, not really. I mean, the overall shape, I mean, it's shaped like a foot, right? <laughs> but the midsole also is completely different. Uh, the opening of the shoe is kind of similar, but not. Obviously, the pull tabs are different. And I mean, I'm a Yeezy guy, so between the two, give me the Yeezy. I know these are comfortable with Boost. These shoes are comfortable too. I don't walk around the other ones. They're not as comfortable as Yeezys and Boost, but it's the same technology. It's different technology. But overall, this is a comfortable shoe and worth the price. And between the two, if I pick one, give me the Yeezy, what would you choose? Let me know in the comment section down below. So while I was at it, I wanted to go ahead and compare these two slides. So you have this one slide, I forgot the name of it. <laughs> so side slide has an open toe. So people who like their toes out, your toes are out. People who don't, you wear a sock, you can do a color pop, whatever. Very comfortable slide. You slide it on, get to go, come back, whatever. This one, on the other hand, um, you slide it on with one hand too. Um, or even no hands, I feel like. But it has like a vent for the toes. So your toe is a little bit more covered and protected. And I prefer this style over this style. And between the two, if I had to pick one to go ahead and go, um, I, I bias towards black, but this one's still black. I would still roll with the side slide on, you know, with the strap and everything. What would you choose? Let me know in the comment section down below. So all in all, uh, all some dope shoes, all dope shoes. Not sure if I'm gonna keep them all because I don't know how often I'll wear them. I just don't know. This one, I might rock this bad boy today. I, I'm keeping this bad boy. I know I am. <laughs> it is what it is. So you guys tell me, have you picked up anything from the side collective? You got a whole slew of different models, shapes, size, colors. Something for everybody if you ask me. I'm more towards the darker colors. And as you can see, I done got what, four pair of darker colors. I got a dark bag. Glad I found that strap. Cause I'm like, man, I can't. <laughs> I was just a crossbody bag. I carry it over my shoulder like a purse. I was kind of confused, but that was my own dumb fault. But that bag is gonna get a lot of use. Uh, I'm liking that bag a lot. I'm liking all the slides, liking all the shoes. And I'm gonna be along for this ride, at least for the next year as a member. So all in all, I wanna thank all you guys for all your support. This is gonna be a long video, <laughs> but you're gonna get four reviews. You watch through all the video. And hey, I wanna put this, I mean, this guy's already on a map. His stuff sells out. Support Devlin Carter and Side Collective. Support black owned businesses in general. Support uh, like-minded, good, kind people. And I thank you for supporting me. Let's keep the momentum rolling. And as my little son say, don't be a stupid dumb hater. Like and subscribe. Holla. I ain't trying to be aggressive, but I wondered on the humble. She shine like VBS's and her tongue can do a funnel. She a bad little five plus five. Girl, I want you. Ain't no sliding, ain't no DM, but when I can slide up on you, I'm just talking out the net. Mouth closed, full of liquor. Get rendezvous, we celebrate big, we're going bigger. Some thought I lost, some recognize the cost that I paid to be, of course, nothing less than the boss. Hot boxing for the let them smell the turps and cologne I got no handouts giving worked off my loans I wish it would tell me put out my strong I'm a California taxpayer, that's on my own Yeah, learn to hit them flip, flip, flips Get it in like gymnastics and flip, flip, flip Quiet, but a sharpshooter, flip, flip, flip If the plan don't land, I load up another clip Can't miss plan A, had to work, no plan B Slice pies with my guys, they the family I be cooking for a minute, Gordon Ramsay Tunnel vision on the money I told myself to rap 
game for me, gotta work I just learned I had the brand before they pay me for a verse Check, cool, so we get it The turnaround is quick, like a cherry picking Falling back, working hard, I work relentless We are not the same, if you broke, there's no resemblance Take a purple to my head, baby, like Hendrix on the thread, where you at, I do a dash Through the valley, half tank with blunts full of gas Got it in the front seat, hit it from the back In the crib, no plan B, I smash Jail strong, put it in the universe and work it Now only for a light lunch, that's sake and urgent Nothing's gonna stop me, ain't nothing that urgent If it ain't family, that fam Plan A, had to work, no plan B Slice pies with my guys, they the family I been cooking for a minute, Gordon Ramsay